Hello, so today I'm gonna tell you my thoughts about you know some legends that are pretty common uh, in in in, uh, in the society nowadays. Now the first one is this one. You know you hear often to say. Well, you know, my grandfather uh, or my grandmother smoked. She was drinking whiskey and uh, eating badly. She was overweight or obese. And you know what? She lived to, to 96 or 98. Well, the reality is that these people exist, but they are very rare it's like you know bold you know how many people can run 100 meters in <clears throat> less than 10 seconds so exceptions do exist in nature but they are very 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 rare and the reality is that many of the people who have unhealthy lifestyle they are going to develop sooner or later chronic diseases and their life is going to be kind of miserable another legend is that i often hear from people sometimes from friends is you know what you know your idea about diet and exercise and mindfulness meditation yeah they are nice but you know what you know i think you know you know at the end of the story everyone has to die of something and so i think you know that i prefer to enjoy myself and uh, eat whatever i want you know be lazy and i agree with this statement of the World Health Organizations, that is, certainly everyone has to die of something, but death does not need to be slow, painful, and most importantly, premature. So we know instead that we, we can do things that are gonna drastically lower our risk of developing chronic diseases and that do increase our probability of living a long and most importantly a healthy life and <clears throat> as you can see here in this slide this is again a slide from the world health organization uh, People think you know, that diseases are, are due to, 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 to bad luck or bad genes. You know, you know, I have, you know, I'm obese because I have bad genes. I'm, I have, you know, high cholesterol, high blood pressure because you know I have bad genes or bad luck. The reality is that uh, at least 80% of heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes that all together are probably responsible for 50% of the cause of death in many developed countries and developing countries and over 40% of uh, <clears throat> cancers can be prevented. So these are statements of the World Health Organization based on my data coming from my clinical studies, the numbers are much higher than 80% and 40%. I think you know, that the great majority of cardiovascular disease can be prevented, especially if we start to lead a healthy lifestyle since we are kids. <clears throat> and more than 40% of cancers, of, co of the common cancers, at least, you know, breast and prostate and colon and endometrial and other <clears throat> common cancer can be prevented by healthy lifestyles.
okay and i think you know this is an important concept you know because people they they they, they underestimate how beautiful is life and how many years we can potentially uh, lose and how many years of bad health and suffering and pain you know can impair our lives just so this is just an example of uh, only you know until a few hundred you know a couple of hundred years ago people they were dying very early you know if you now tell someone you know that is 55 you know you have another five or ten years at the best of life in front of you he's gonna tell you what you know because now it's you know our the average lifespan is around 80 and so look uh, Dante Alighieri he died when he was 56 Cristoforo Columbus when he was 55 Leonardo da Vinci when he was 67 can you imagine how many th how many other things how many other beautiful paintings Leonardo could have painted William Shakespeare 52 Bach 65 Mozart 35 Luigi Pirandello 69 Albert Einstein 76 this is a shame you know not only for these people but for everybody you know how many things people could achieve how many years of healthy life could enjoy with their kids grandkids grand grandkids if they could you know get to 80 90 years old in good shape in healthy uh, being healthy productive independent empowered and uh, and the good news is that we now know that you know there are a number of interventions that we can learn and master that can increase our probability to avoid chronic diseases and live healthy happy for a long long time in the next <clears throat> talks lectures i'm gonna tell about these interventions but just to summarize you know nutrition as we will see is a major factor in preventing chronic disease and promoting healthy lifespan the other one is exercise and there are different type of exercise and each one has its own mechanisms that are you know important for different physiological metabolic adaptations then uh, we're going to talk about intermittent fasting it's, a, it's another hot topic but you know it has his problems i'm going to talk about it it's not as everybody thinks now you know you know you fast and then you need whatever you want in the other days unfortunately it doesn't work like that i'm going to tell you about some of the new data we have produced in my lab and then you know there is the importance of cognitive training you know our brain is like a muscle if we exercise our brain with certain exercises you know it's it's, it's, it's going to work better and it's going to have a less cognitive decline sleep we're going to talk about the importance of uh, of deep sleep le sleeping in in, uh, in in the in the stage three and four where you know we have we induce anti-inflammatory regenerative um, pathways and then the importance of mindfulness meditation and the, de the development of inner strength uh, and uh, and many other things so uh, we are gonna talk about all these important factors that should be started when we are very young not when we are 50 60 aging start in utero doesn't start when you are 65 so we're going to talk about all these topics thank you